What's Quack Lacking guys, I'm Adak Quack here and welcome back to another episode on our Trade to Glory series. So since the last episode, quite a bit's happened in the background so you guys don't necessarily get to see it all. But if you watch my How Much series, I mentioned Eric Bailly, the new centre-back for United who transferred last summer, so not that new I guess. Anyway, I picked up a couple of him just because his price was so low and we got lucky and Foothead put them in their Team of the Week predictions. So his price doubled and we sold all three copies we had for 80,000 coins a pop. We also sold another Murata. I don't know why I listed him. I don't think I meant to, but it's a couple of thousand coins profit, so I'm not going to complain. And we've got all our top racks still. I have moved them across to our transfer list now. And we've obviously still got the Berahinos and a bunch of other players there that we'll relist. So we've got about 166,000 coins currently. And the reason for that is I've started preparing for the Bundesliga SBC. So we are 10 teams in, I think, now. We are just about to finish. Uh, which one are we about to finish? Well, we're 10 teams in anyway. We're bidding on one more player to complete one of them. And it's a stupidly expensive team. So we're going to get there eventually. And the benefits of doing this is as soon as the Squad Builder Challenge is released, we're definitely going to be completing it on this account. We definitely want a 90-whatever-it-is Lewandowski for our teams. That will be absolutely incredible to build around. and Just make something incredibly fun with it as well. So we may also, if we can get enough coins together, look at doing the Harry Kane one as well for the Premier League. That means that when they roll around, if we don't want Harry Kane or the pack rewards are poor, we can just sell off all the investments and make ourselves a decent bit of profit. The other things that we're going to be looking at on this account is potentially some investments coming up for foot birthday. There's nothing released today on Wednesday, so on Tuesday, sorry. So hopefully Wednesday tomorrow with the new team of the week, we'll see something. And we've also got, well, Suarez I want to do at some point, but we've got the South American tour to do. Now, I'm going to wait until the weekend league rewards come out on Thursday, so they flood the market, and we can hopefully pick up all the cards we need for cheap, completing it for maybe about twenty-five to 30,000 coins. Hopefully, the team of the week will have a couple of good players. Not that we're going to pack them, but at least we'll have a chance of packing them if we wait until then. So, in this episode, we are one game away from Division 2, I think it is. So, we're actually playing for the title. So, as you can see, I need a few more contracts on some of my players. And I have a feeling that we are actually running really low on bronze contracts at the moment. I'm just going to quickly double check that. But if we are, then we're going to start off the episode by just opening a few bronze packs. Yeah, we got no bronze contracts. So we're going to open a few bronze packs just to get the episode started. Again, we've got a little bit of space on our transfer list. I don't think we've got a ton. Whoops, we don't want the premium ones. So we'll just open a few of these just till we've maybe got like 10 or so contracts. We'll jump into a few games. There's not really any huge sniping filters out at the moment due to the lack of squad builder challenges or any massive investment potential. Uh, we'll list that up. So there's not a huge amount of trading directly we can do in this episode either, annoyingly. But what we will do for sure is just play some games, make sure that we can get up a little bit higher in these divisions and see if we can make our way onto Division 1. Now, the other thing that I was tempted to do was maybe try and qualify for the Weekend League. I mean, I, I rarely have time to play all 40 games on my main account, but oh, we get squad fitness. But it could be quite a fun thing to try on this. Initially, though, I did say that I was going to keep this account for away from Weekend League, just to show you what you could do without it. So I may leave that decision up to you guys. So if you want me to do the Weekend League, then cool, I'll do it. But let me know down in the comments, I guess. This player sells as well, doesn't he? 500 seems to be the cheapest. We're going to get about 450. We'll put him up for 400 coins out of that guy. That's not a bad little pack there. It gives us a couple more contracts we'll send to the club. Uh, another squad fitness. We might as well just send that to the club for now. We've only got one space left. And I wouldn't mind using it just to compare prices. So we'll open just two more of these. That'll leave us at about 166,000 coins. Oh, we get a silver rare player. That's absolutely huge. Young boys. Is that Eredivis? No, I'm miles off. Not even close. But still, that's a huge pull from that pack. A League One player, a Pro League player, and an MLS player from Houston Dynamo. Let's double check if these guys sell quickly. Not that we can list both of them up. Okay, that guy doesn't sell. Uh, we've done the Pro League as well, so he's of very little use to us. Oh, wow. Oh. That's fine. We'll keep the MLS players. Like I said in the last video, probably, we are going to go for Giovinco at some point. So if we can get most of the players just from using bronze pack, silver pack method, then we're going to be absolutely golden from that anyway. Uh, I thought it was going to be another rare player. Another MLS player, though, is the Portland Timbers Club this time. And we don't have him, so that's huge as well. 
an Australian and an Irish manager, a little fitness card. I wonder if this guy sells. Let's have a quick look. The managers sometimes do that. I'm not even going to bother trying to sell them. That puts us, oh my god, we're one coin under. That's fine. We'll open two more packs. That'll put us at 165,000 coins. And it'll definitely give us enough contracts to fill the team up. What club is that? It's an English centre back. I don't think it's an English. It is Cambridge. I have never seen that badge before in my life. Only two contracts in that pack and a load of nasty looking kits. And um, we'll just leave it after this pack. One more big pack. Come on, one more squad fitness or something. Or oh, one more rare silver player. We do not get any kind of rare player. We get a Wolfsburg player, actually. That's not awful, because there's a chance we can use them in the Bundesliga SBC that we're building at the moment. Only one contract. A silver fitness card isn't awful. And someone from Sydney FC. Cool, that should give us enough contracts anyway. So I'm going to go apply all those contracts. Then we're going to jump straight into a game. Right, guys. So we come into the first game. It's got Legend Lone Keen from the SBC holding up the midfield. Dembele, Kante, Eriksen, Sturridge, Martial. Solid team. We did have to buy our own couple of buy, our own copy of Bai before this game, and that's because obviously we sold his one to watch cards, and he just fit the squad perfectly for chemistry reasons. So we managed to get him for four thousand eight hundred with an anchor card on him, which I felt like was a bit of a steal anyway. So I can't see us losing any money when we come to sell him on. Although we're probably not going to make any money either, it's absolutely fine because it does the trick. We do have this stupid stadium though with this huge shadow in the middle, which isn't going to do us any good. A Tweedy here. Matuidi plays it up to, oh my god, Oria. <laughs> That's what you want from a right back. Managing to control the ball, a little fake shot turn, and then a dink into the top corner that Butland has absolutely no chance of reaching. That's how you want your right back, your full backs, everyone on your team playing. On a side note though, this shadow is actually giving me a headache. I don't know why people would choose to play with this pitch. It's the most disgusting, oh my god. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> just panicking, just panicking. Just panicking. Get out, get out, get out. No. Just watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Oh, God. We're still watching him. He's still watching him go around everyone. Okay, cool. We got it away. Um, yeah, it's the most disgusting pitch that there's ever made. <laughs> and that will be half time after that little bit of a panic attack that I think I had there in the box. Nicely won. It's played onto Matuidi. Matuidi beats his man. Matuidi's got a chance to lay off to Manners. Manners goes round one. Manners slots it under him. We take a 2-0 lead in the 76th minute. And that's going to wrap up the title for us. It's actually been a pretty tough game. He's been... Yeah, he's a good dribbler. And I really struggle with my defending one-on-ones. So, we've done well to get what we've got to in this game. Like this. You can just see we can never tackle him. Oh, he's gone down the wing here. He could cut it across. That's beautiful play. There's no way he's missing that. All the way across to Sturridge. We do concede in the 83rd minute. This could actually be a bit dangerous. He's making some changes, so I don't know what he's doing to his formation. I don't really think we've got anyone we can bring on for fitness reasons. We do need to put maybe a super sub on both teams' benches. Uh, I don't know who we have. Maybe we should invest in someone, though. Just so when it gets to this kind of stage in games, we do have an option to change things up and make it a little bit fresh. Okay, so that's how it ends. It was incredibly tight in the end. We do take the division title though. We get 11,000 coins from that one game. Well, from winning the title, but it comes at the end of the game, which is huge. We do go up to division two now, and we are close to getting to division one. That would be an automatic qualification for foot champs. So we really wouldn't have to worry about qualifying and just playing whatever games we want to play if we decide to. I am just going to check if we've unlocked anything else here. Oh, so we've got level 15. So we do get an extra 10 slots on our transfer list. Um, I'm sure we can sell these contracts at some point as well. I'm just seeing if we've got any coin unlocks. I don't think we have. That's cool. That'll do. So we're just going to jump straight into another game in Division 2 now. See how we get on here. I've got a feeling that this could be where we start to struggle. But the fitness is a good. Team looks good. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so our first game in this division sees us come up against an absolute team of nothing, no chemistry, awfulness. And if I'm playing a guy in Division 2 and he's got a team like this, we know he's going to be insane. So when I lose this game and I look like an idiot, I'm going to apologise now because I can definitely see this happening. Okay, cool. So he just literally started the game and left. So I guess that... We're not going to be losing that game against the team with no chemistry and awfulness all round. 
It's a bit annoying that he didn't score an own goal before he left for us. That would have been pretty nice of him. But either way, we do lose a contract on all our players, which is the most frustrating bit because it takes so long to apply these. And we need to open bronze packs to get them. So hopefully going into this game, we're not going to get the same kind of player. Either way, though, we don't get any points from that game. That's the annoying thing. I probably would have even taken a draw from it, if I'm honest. We come up against a guy with a Borussia Dortmund kit, which is what I've got in my main account, actually. I really like the current home Borussia Dortmund kit. He's Anyway, he's got Inform Perisic up front, and he's an absolute beast. I've played against the Cam striker version of him a few times, and he just can do everything. His shooting is incredible. His strength is incredible. The whole of his team just look really, really strong. I like to Dembele, Kanti, and Matuidi holding down the midfield. This is going to be tough. We've got a lot of dainty, agile players that might get hurt here. It's going to come back to Bailly. He plays it nicely down to Budabuz, though. Up to Sanson. Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. Oh, my God. We got really, <laughs> really lucky there. It just goes underneath Courtois' legs with <laughs> He literally widens his legs as we shoot, as if to say, yeah, I have this one, guys. You deserve it for how poor that shot was. Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. Oh, my God, has that gone in? It has. We've got there. Lacazette's on two. Always when I chip the ball, I feel like I'm either going to put too much power on it and it's going to fly over, or I'm just going to underhit it and the keeper's going to catch it and they're going to counter. And the reason I think that is because it always happens because I suck at trying to chip. But for once, we actually got it right. And we take a 2-0 lead here. Lacazette's got a chance at a hat-trick in his first game in Division 2. And we have a chance of conceding, though, first. But we don't. So, yeah, back onto Lacazette's hat-trick chance. It's a lovely little turn, though, by Lacazette. He finds Matuidi. Matuidi's... Oh, that's a great ball through to Payet. Payet can't miss. Payet doesn't miss. On the brink of half-time, we get our third goal. And we take a massive lead in this Division 2 game. Now, the really awkward thing here is, on my main account with my absolutely stacked team, absolutely stacked bench, we don't do this well. Like, my record's pretty damn poor, and I've got a feeling that maybe there is something. He's just quit, as you can probably see as well. Maybe there is something to this whole bronze benching malarkey. I mean, we I've never bronze benched myself, and on this account, we don't have that stacked bench. We have just our reserve players, which is a huge mixture of the good, the bad, all kinds of everybody. But maybe that is the reason that things are a little bit different. Let's just pop a contract on him here. I think we're going to play one more game, but we're going to change up our team for a little bit of fitness now. Uh, that gives everyone on that team a contract at least. So we're good to go for another game. Which team is it we want? I think we've still got three teams, actually. I think we've still got a BPL one to watch team that we've still got players for. Anyway, this is my favourite team. Well, I say this is my favourite team, but Lacazette is just absolutely incredible. I'm... Yeah, he's one of my favourite strikers I've probably used this year. I obviously love Higuain, as I mentioned before we got him. But Lacazette, his pace is incredible. His touch just seems to be brilliant. His positioning is always where you want him to be. I haven't really played with him enough to test his strength yet. But from what I've used him for, his strength hasn't seemed to be a huge issue or anything either. So he's very quickly becoming on par with Dybala, or at least not far off. This guy knows what I'm on about as well. He's got Lacazette up top. He's got Martial on the left. Matuidi, Ben Arthur, Draxler. It is a solid... It's a full Calcio A or Serie A. No, it's not. Of course it's not. He's got Serie A at the back. He's got League One in the middle. And then he's even got Martial on the left. He's got a nice little hybrid named a a a a a a We could be in trouble. He could be in trouble suddenly. Come on, Jonas. Oh my god, Higuain. Higuain. He plays it over to Jonas. Jonas is through here. Jonas with a chance to score. Oh my god, we scored in literally the last play of the game. I don't know how we managed it because this game has been ridden with lag. But somehow we managed to break through there with Jonas. He beats the defense. Look at the replay lagging as well. That's absolutely ridiculous. The, probably partly my fault. But the last few games we played have been flawless. There's been no kind of delay. So... I'm not sure what it is that's causing the lag, but either way, we're going to take the win. And I've got a feeling it literally might have been the last kick of the game. I can see the ref blowing the whistle as soon as they move here. So anyway, we're going to end the video after this game. So it's been a bit of a shorter video. We've managed to clinch title in Division 3. We've won our first two games in Division 2. So we're three wins from three wins in this episode, which is huge for us. It's absolutely incredible. 
we we've gotten SBC to do in the next episode. So yeah, ended straight away. We've got the American SBC to do. So that's going to give us some nice packs, like the 50k pack and stuff like that. So hopefully the team of the week stacked, or we see some special cards from EA for foot birthday, and we can pull something absolutely awesome in that. Now, I have, like I said, I've completed 10 out of the 18 teams for the Bundesliga SBC, and I've probably spent around 90-ish thousand coins so far, maybe a little bit more. The silver one that I did was stupidly expensive, and for Leverkusen, I wanted to get the best of the best. So I picked up the likes of Leno as well, just to make sure that we're covered for every possibility. I've still got to do Bayern Munich. I've still got to do Borussia Dortmund. So there's going to be some expensive stuff coming there. If we can complete the rest of it for maybe about 100k, then I'm going to be happy. We do have that Martinez that we bought in the oh, a couple of episodes ago now. The Inform Martinez, which will help for that, no doubt. And we've also got this guy who is the Andalect player that we picked up for 14 and a half thousand coins. Just in case uh, Lukaku won player of the month. If we sold them on now, we could double our coins. 27 is the cheapest on the market. So we're going to make huge profit on that guy as well. We've also got, obviously, all our one-to-watch cards, our informs. Not as many as we have had in the past. We've got all the top racks, the Marattas. Only two Marattas, three Marattas left. And the Berahinos. But all in all, we don't have as many coins as we've had in the past. Mainly because we've done the SBCs. We've got Lacazette. We've got Higuain. We've got Perber. We've got Jonas. I think they're the four that we've done. We might do Suarez at some point. I've been keeping all La Liga players in my club, all the Premier League players, and all of the Bundesliga players. So I'm leaving my options open with those. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. If you're new, if you could subscribe, that'd be incredible. And I'll catch you next time.